Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry and of course today we are going to continue uh, our study on heat of reactions. Look at the last two, heat of formation and then heat of solution. Okay, um, the, uh, the calculations under this also are quite similar to similar to what we have been doing uh, on other words, heat of reaction. So uh, I just want to touch on the very important uh, parts of what this uh, this heat of reactions. Okay, so we have a uh, heat of formation and heat of solution. I don't know, forget this tutorial is brought to you by the OTD School Jamba. Like I told you, this is all you need to succeed in the exam. If you want to succeed excellently well, right? You need a good CBT app like the OTD School Jamba app because your exam is a CBT exam. And once you have this app, you do not need to go and get past questions outside. You go and spend one six thousand euros to get four past questions for for your four subjects, English and three other subjects. Okay, so. Once you have this application, it has all the past questions for all the subjects, okay? And then it has some wonderful features. This classroom where there are lecture notes you can use to what you can read and then take tests. There's question search feature you can search for question, all right, according to topic. And then there's a challenge, the mock challenge that will conduct every Saturday. You can participate in it for free, okay? And you can win amazing prizes. But for winning prizes, you get used to how Jam said their question and you build your confidence. You see your, you see your result released, okay? So that's that. that puts you in the spirit of your examination all right so please do not joke with this app go to place right and download activation is just three thousand error as at the time of shooting this video it will increase in the future so please uh download the app start practicing be studying and what you see that what you are building enough confidence for the exam all right all right so let's uh, go to heat of formation and what and solution what is heat of formation? We say heat of formation is what is the energy was absorbed or what um, evolved. Okay, when one mole, when one mole of a substance is formed, heat of formation of formation is the energy absorbed. Okay, or or evolved. When one mole of a substance, when one mole of a substance is formed, okay? So, when one mole of a substance is formed, heat is what? Heat is what is absorbed, okay? It, or what? It's evolved, okay? That is what heat of formation. When one mole, when one mole of a substance what is formed, when one mole of a substance, one mole of Okay, should be more than one mole. When one mole of a substance is formed, okay, we are usually concerned about what one mole. All right, to call it what uh, heat of what heat of formation. Of course, like I told you, uh, it is represented as what well as delta H F. Okay, but if this is measured under standard conditions, like of course standard temperature two hundred and ninety eight Kelvin, standard uh, concentration one mole per dm cube uh, for reactions in aqueous solutions, and of course pressure. 180 m or 760 millimeter mercury okay or 1.01 times 10 to the power minus 5 newton meter square okay for reactions involving gases we say that what uh it is measured under standard condition and because of that we do no longer call it letter hf again we we'll call it what standard heat of formation standard heat of formation and it will be represented as what delta h f naught okay this one is what standard heat of formation okay so it is delta h but when, when it's measured under standard conditions uh, standard temperature concentration and pressure we call it a standard heat of formation all right so now let's all quickly talk about a uh, 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 heat of what solution all right heat of solution and we say heat of solution is the energy what absorbed okay or what evolved all right when one mole of an ionic solid dissolves in water all right, when one mole of an ionic solid dissolves in water, okay, we say what well, that heat of solution is the energy absorbed or evolved when one mole of an ionic solid. Okay, when one mole of an ionic solid uh, dissolves in water. 
Okay, so heat of solution is the energy, the energy what absorbed or what evolved when one mole, when one mole of an ionic solid crystal, okay, a ionic solid crystal, a ionic solid crystal dissolves what in water. When one mole of an ionic solid crystal dissolves what in water, okay, that is what what to call what heat of what heat of solution, and whether heat is what is what is absorbed. All heat is what is evolved depends on what how two energy forces balance out each other okay two energy forces our two energy forces balance what out each other that's how we know whether heat is what it is what is absorbed or what is evolved okay we have two energy and two energy forces that would have to balance each other um, balance out each other for us to know whether or it is what it that is what evolved or what or absorbed these two energy forces are called what the lattice energy, L A T T I C E, lattice energy, and of course the hydration energy. Okay, so we say that all heat or solution is the energy absorbed or what evolved when one mole of, a, of an ionic solid crystal dissolves what in water. Okay, and we are saying that whether it is what is absorbed or what is or evolved depends on how two energy forces, which are the lattice energy and the hydration energy, balance out with each other. Okay, so we are going to look at our past question. You see where these questions will come out. Okay, and how they work and how they play out. Okay, now when two energy forces will balance each other, that's when we know what, whether it is what actually what energy that is what is evolved or what it is what it is absorbed. Now, what is lattice energy and what is hydration energy? Okay, lattice energy. Energy is the energy absorbed or evolved, right? Okay, lattice energy is, is the words energy was absorbed or used up, okay? Absorbed or used up in splitting, in splitting what an ionic what uh, uh, crystal into what free ions, okay? Into free ions, okay? We say what the lattice energy is the energy evolved or okay absorbed or used up in what in splitting an ion in the crystal in the crystal lattice into free ions okay we said that lattice energy is the energy absorbed or used up in splitting an ion in the crystal lattice into what free ions to make them more free. For example, if we have let me say NaCl, okay, NaCl is what is a what is a crystal, okay, it's an it's, it's an ionic crystal, okay, and it's an ionic or compound, for example. So and of course, let's say in the in the in the in the, in the crystal form, it will be like this, okay, consisting of what both positive and negative ions. To be consisting of what of both what negative what and what and positive ions for you to be able to what to split this thing to split the sodium from the chlorine which are which are what this place in this in this crystal here there were they there are what positive and what are negative what centers in this what crystal here all right so for you to be able to split this into what na positive and what cl what minus okay you see that what bonds have to be what bonds will be broken okay that is what i want to talk about that is energy for you to be able to separate them Okay, for you to be able to separate them into what positive and negative what ions, it means the bonds need to bond need to be broken. And it's important for you to know that what when bonds are broken, okay, the entropy change, okay, the energy change is usually what is usually endothermic. When bonds are broken, just know that when bonds are broken, okay, the energy change is usually what endothermic. Okay, but when bonds okay are formed. All right, when bonds are formed, okay. If I bring now, you are trying to separate them now, okay. The reaction will be endothermic. But if I try to bring them to, together, okay, I try to what form them back, right? The reaction will, will be what in that case will what be exothermic, okay. When bonds are broken, reaction is energy, energy change is endothermic. When bonds are what are formed, energy change is exothermic, energy is what is released, okay. The yeah, energy is absorbed when bonds are broken, energy is what is absorbed, okay. So please take note of that. Now, we said that lattice energy is the energy absorbed or used up in splitting an ion in the what? In the crystal, in the crystal lattice into free ions. For them to be moved to what? To be separated into what? Positive and what? And negative centers. Then, of course, 
then of course, uh, uh, you need to lattice with energy to be able to, uh, to separate them. All right. So now, have you known that? Then of course, this these ions cannot be what be hydrated into what water molecules. They can be hydrated by by what by water molecules. Hydration. That's where what hydration what uh, hydration energy comes into play. And we say that what hydration energy is the energy what absorbed or what evolved okay when the ions when the ions are hydrated into water molecules okay i i hydrated by sorry by by what by water molecules so that what that hydration energy is the what is the energy absorbed or what evolved when the ions are hydrated okay by what water molecules when they are hydrated by water molecules we now call that what hydration what energy okay so let's see what hydration energy is here okay we said our that hydration energy is the energy absorbed or evolved okay when the ions are, are hydrated by water molecules okay so now that's what happened. Like I was using what NaCl when they are all separated, okay, by lattice energy. When lattice energy was separated, then we we'll use what lattice energy to, to separate them, okay, into what positive and negative center. Now, when they want to be hydrated by what by the water molecules, the positive ion will, go, will be attracted by what by the negative what centers of what of the water molecule. While the, what, the negative ion that is chlorine will be, will be what attracted by the positive center, okay. You know that what. Opposite charges they attract. Okay, so that's what happens. Now, this hydration energy is the word energy absorbed or evolved when the ions are are now hydrated by what by the water water molecules. And of course, it is very important to note that the energy change here. Okay, for the lattice or the hydration energy, the energy change now will depend on which of the energy is of larger magnitude. Okay, the energy change will depend. Okay, on which of them, whether the lattice energy or the hydration energy, which of them is of what larger what or greater magnitude? The energy change will depend on what which of these two is of larger magnitude. If the lattice energy, if lattice energy is greater, is greater than uh, hydration energy. Okay, when the lattice energy is greater than the hydration energy, we say that the reaction is endothermic. Okay, when the lattice energy is greater than the hydration energy, we say that the reaction is what is endothermic. But if it's the hydration energy, hydration energy is greater than what lattice energy, we say that the reaction is what is exothermic. Okay, so hydration of energy is only what leads to what to the liberation of what of energy, the liberation of what of heat. Okay, okay, so why what lattice energy is only what absorption of what of heat. Okay, so you have to take note of, of these two differences. Now, I'll go over that again. I said lattice energy is energy absorbed or used up in splitting an ion, the crystal lattice into what free into free ions. Why hydration energy is the energy absorbed or evolved when the ions are hydrated by the water by the, by the water molecules. Okay, now I say that what the energy change will depend on which of these were two energies that are, that is what that is of larger what magnitude. If the if the lattice energy is greater than the hydration energy, we have what an endothermic water reaction. The reaction will be endothermic; energy will be absorbed. But when the hydration energy is greater than the lattice energy, the reaction will be to be exothermic. Okay, so this is where we are going to work, uh, talk about. Uh, we are going to stop about what uh, heat of formation and solution. We are going to go to work, go to the jam application, okay, and then we'll take what some question to cement our knowledge, and we are done with this. Okay, so please don't forget to like this video. Liking this video will make other students easily find this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Subscription is free, so it's just to send notification to your phone whenever we publish a new video. Okay, so now let's quickly see. It's a chemistry two thousand question number twenty, and it says that. Is being displayed on your screen right now. They say hydration of ions solution. Hydration of ions in solution is associated with what? Okay, that is hydration of what of ion. All right. And I say that what that when hydration energy is even greater than what that lattice energy, that is what exothermic reaction. All right. So energy is what is liberated. 
okay, in what? In hydration of ions. When, I, when ions are hydrated, okay, energy is what is liberated. All right, so let me please see. Uh, option A says absorption of heat. No, that is for lattice energy. Then B, they say reduction of heat. C, they say conduction of heat. And D, they say liberation of heat. So heat is what is liberated, okay? Heat is liberated when ions what are when uh, when ions of uh, what are hydrated. All right, so that is that the correct answer there was option D. Now, this is a 2011 question number 23, and it says it's a chemical reaction in which the hydration energy in which the hydration energy is greater than the lattice energy is referred to what to as what a they say a spontaneous reaction b they say an endothermic reaction c they say an exothermic reaction d they say a reversible reaction what is that exothermic what reaction okay so please this question this everything is important so please take put your head down study read and then gain understanding and you see that what you are shining all right so this is where we're going to what stop in this topic all right i'll see you in the next episode all right take care and see you there